Hi, my ladies. Welcome to Community Living with your girl, Malebo. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. And if you're stopping back by and continuously supporting the channel, you know the jingle by now. So sing along with me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So thank you, thank you, thank you to each and everyone that's been liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You know the deal, you know the deal. So today we're going to be talking about unlocking our current or recent Apple Watch, which is this watch. So I recently bought this watch. It's just the Apple Watch Series 9. So the reason I'm unboxing, why did I say unlocking? The reason I'm unboxing and testing it out for a week is that I didn't buy it from iStore. So I bought it from a reseller. I don't even know how he's able to resell. I don't know if he's an authorized reseller. I just asked everybody in one of the WeChat groups. I'm like, okay guys, where do you all get your um, Apple products? Because obviously here it is cheaper and easier to get Apple products. I think even iStore is more reasonable than back home in SA. So that's what I asked, right? And then this guy got was like highly, highly recommended. So one person posted his contact and then he was like, I definitely stand this guy and like 12 other people. And yeah, it looks like 12 other people is like not that much, but it's like everybody else who was recommended either had a bad review or no other person would corroborate like everybody was like cor everybody after that guy was like yeah we stand this guy like we stand this guy we stand this guy so since i want to be a reseller myself and sell to like you know uh people back home that are interested in buying apple products from this side so i was like okay let me test out his products since he comes like you know highly recommended hence i ended up purchasing from him i was ready to go to i store because i didn't want any problems um so you guys will see some of the things that i encountered so when you open it up it is in chinese because it is a chinese product or it's for Ch the chinese market uh but you are able to set la your language um so i chose english obviously so everything has been in english but one of the chinese apps is in chinese so i'm not sure if uh, it's because of what's this thing called if it's because the app is in Chinese or if it's because the watch is a Chinese product or if it's a combination of both I forgot to ask him these questions so this is like a bit premature I will ask him these questions and if it does need another video I will record another video but for now you guys can like you know just um, maybe have an understanding that for the Chinese products they are written in Chinese in, even with, on my phone, they are sort of written in Chinese and then there's a translator. But I don't think on the um, watch they have the translator function. And then another thing was if I'm asking Siri for search result, actual search result from the internet, we, I'm not asking her to maybe like set a timer or set a reminder, then the search results come back in Chinese, right? They came back in Chinese. And also on my phone, since the, your phone and your watch will be like, you know, um, linked when like it does some of the things, the prompts like downloading, because I had to update my uh, the iOS that I was using on the, on the phone because it was outdated. So it couldn't link with this because this is like was on the like recent iOS. So they had to be compatible, right? They had to be on the same wavelength in a sense. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff. But let's get into it. Let's get into it.
Hi Siri, please set an alarm for 6 a.m. in the morning. Set the alarm for when? 6 a.m. tomorrow. Done. Okay, so I just took a shower and I used the watch as well. So this entire week I'll be using it while I take a shower. I don't know what it's doing. Oh no, but yeah, the neon color usually gets picked up like that. I know even on uh, some buses, whenever I'm recording them, it does that weird thing. So yes, I just took a shower and there was actually 20, um, 20 kilocalories that were that used to be unaccounted for. Cause I think when I woke up, I had about nine kilocalories. So 20 kilocalories that were unaccounted for while I was taking a shower. So I'm gonna have better uh, recordings in terms of like my kilocalorie count and so forth so i'm going to be wearing it the whole day so that's what i will be doing stress testing and seeing that it lasts for the 18 hours that that they said it's going to last um that you can take a shower with it and stuff like that so obviously you can do that with apple but since i bought it from a different vendor um, I need to stress test it so that when I tell you guys that you can buy from this person, I know that, you know, they really offer what they say, um, th like the genuine thing, basically, according to what Apple says, it will be like. So yeah, let me uh, finish bathing, finish doing what I need to do. It's 10 past 7 now. So throughout the day, if there are any stress testing elements, I'll uh, record them. If there aren't, I'll just like, you know, close it off um when the day ends and that's it basically been almost 24 hours since I started this and I really like the fact that my kilocalorie count is way better because usually the phone records about 140 kilocalories for things that I do so it's more I think I, I like to believe the watch is more accurate since it counts every single thing that I do um, so I'm very glad that I burned this much just doing day-to-day -day activities um, So yeah The next thing would be battery. So it's about 9% left And yeah, it does last more than 18 hours I've been using it throughout the day throughout all my classes. I've been setting timers. I've set reminders I've done a mindful exercise and all these other things, so it definitely does work properly. Okay, I'm about to charge it, and currently it's 22.52, and it's on 9%, so let's see how quickly it charges to 100%. i to take a shower, and there's a setting that I saw yesterday that talks about being in water, I think. So this is the water lock thing. Um, it goes off so quickly, so in order to switch it off and let the watch basically splurge I will have to click on the crown, but yeah, it's right there, the, right next to the time So I'm about to take a shower for the second time. Hopefully the watch still works after that <laughs> I just finished taking a shower, almost wiped the screen before you guys saw that I just literally took a shower So I'm gonna switch off the thing Yes, you all saw that. I'm gonna stop bathing. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna stop bathing with my watch on. It's not worth it. Um.
if you reached this part of the video you're definitely a real one and thank you thank you thank you so i'm going to give you guys my opinion on the watch what i think um it's like how it's been and so forth so i think i've mentioned quite a number of things at the beginning of the video so i definitely do like it for one <laughs> so in terms of my overall rating of the watch i'd say that i give it an 8 out of 10 um the reason why it's an 8 out of 10 i just feel like it's too expensive right smart watches in general i just feel like they're too expensive they do little little to none in my opinion i'm not a watch person i think like this is this watch uh i probably haven't had a watch in the past five years so for me to have a watch is kind of like eh. it's because i'm teaching my current employment requires me to have a watch for timekeeping and stuff like that so when it comes to um, prompting Siri to set timers, great. When it comes to recording, uh, like how I'm doing health-wise, right? That's also perfect. It does boost my ego slash confidence. Um, then when it comes to the supplier of the phone, I think he did give me a legit product. I just don't know the inner workings of how does it work? How, what is the affiliation to Apple, the product and so forth. So would I recommend that you actually purchase something from him? And this week, I haven't had any problems with the phone from a tech uh, perspective, um, functionality perspective. There weren't like glitches or anything like that. So I'd say yes, I do recommend. So if you are one of those people that would like to purchase uh, an item, any Apple device like laptops, um, iPads, AirPods, uh, chargers, anything that you can think of Apple wise, he even has Samsung products, like he has everything tech wise, anything that you can think of tech wise, he does have it. Um, so do hit me up. I do charge a fee for connecting you to him as a supplier. You can get your own. You can get your own. <laughs> if you're like, uh -uh, I don't want to pay anything for such a service, you can definitely get your own person. I think here when you get your people, your trusted somebody's, when you do your research, it is worth a buck and definitely do make, you know, some means around that if you want to. If you want to give people for free, you can give them for free. But at this point, I'm protecting my sources and I'm making a buck while at it. Um, and I, do I feel sorry? No, this is, I don't feel sorry for it because this is a luxury product. You get what I mean? If it was like a need, like if it was a need, I would give it out for free. But this is a luxury product, so I don't feel sorry for charging you a bit more so that you save on buying it from iStore, which are, um, which they charge ridiculously expensive prices. So I will be charging you guys just 250 to connect you with him. And I can, help you also get like someone the product for you as well so i'll arrange for someone to ship the product for you you'll have to pay your own shipping fee and customs fee that is at your own expense so that is 250 for me to get you connected with him help you get a shipping agent that will deliver the product so i'm doing like two services so a sum of 250 if you are interested in purchasing items this side definitely hit me up and i'll give you the price list i'll give you his price list you just have to add 250 for myself and then the rest will be according to other suppliers what you have to pay him what you have to pay for shipping agent and my 250 then that's essentially what you have to pay so how much did i pay for this watch so you guys can go and search it up so I paid 7,500. I did ask for a discount. It's, it was 2,999 RMB, like almost 3,000 RMBs. Um, but then I asked for a discount and I got a 50 bucks, 50 RMB discount, but I had to pay for my own shipping and the shipping was like 25 RMB. So essentially I got like a 25 RMB, um, discount, right? So yeah, that's how much I paid in total. And that's how much you probably will pay just with the additional 250 plus shipping and then you get it in SA. So it should be less than, um, I'd say less than 10K, but maybe, yeah, less than 10K. And it could be less than 9K as well. If your shipping, if the shipping agent that we get 
is willing to deliver it to you at um, less than 900 because there's another person that says 900 for apple products um, and then there's another one that i think i have who charges way less than 900 they charge about 150 rmbs and that's about 400 500 so 400 500 somewhere there plus my thing 750 plus 7500 at all those prices together and you get yourself a apple watch series 9 which is not yet out in sa by the way so you can get the latest tech i'll explain all of these things maybe in another video as well that some of the products it's like us log phones hk versions and how they have dual sim but they're not fake it's just hk version has a dual sim because that market has dual sim because you know Apple does cater for each of their different uh, markets. So yeah, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And as mentioned, if you want to purchase something, do hit me up, uh, contact me using the email below and we can arrange for you to get any tech product, tech related. I wouldn't even just say um, Apple products. It's a tech product. That's it, Wallabies. Enjoy the rest of your December. I know it's December and you're like having a woman Nandy. So bye.